WWE changes course and changes the name of the Women's Battle Royal at WrestleMania and also what is going to be the main event or the marquee matchup from the SmackDown side of things that we have yet to be told. This is PWR Tonight for Thursday, February 15, 2018. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Pro Wrestling Report Studios for PWR Tonight. I'm Damian Nelson encouraging you to subscribe here to the broadcast on YouTube so that you never miss an episode. In case you didn't know as well, these episodes are also available on our uh, podcast feed. That's blogtalkradio.com slash PWR where you can get all the information to listen and to subscribe for free to the podcast of PWR Tonight. Let's get right down to today's hot news and we talked yesterday on PWR Tonight about about the fabulous Moolah Memorial Battle Royal. Well, what a difference a few hours make because actually just about an hour ago, WWE announced that it was changing the name and no longer associating it with the fabulous Moolah due to fan, uh, due fan outcry over the uh, issues surrounding the fabulous moolah. It didn't hurt, I don't think, that some fans had reached out to the sponsor, Snickers, of WrestleMania and made a stink there, where they then said that this was quote-unquote unacceptable and that they would be reaching out to WWE. And that probably, more than anything else, was the catalyst right there that changed the uh, the uh, direction of this battle royal's name and Stephanie McMahon took to Twitter to address the situation saying that they want to make sure that the match honors the women in wrestling right now and I uh, have removed the name as a result. Now it's interesting to note that uh, WWE has been accused of silencing the voices of their viewers because they disabled comments on the video announcing the battle royal on their YouTube channel. I didn't do any more research but the last time I watched a WWE video on YouTube comments were also disabled for that so I thought it was their standard practice so I wouldn't get all up in arms or uproar out of that but anyways the name has been changed is no longer the fabulous moolah memorial battle royal it is the women's battle royal and it will still take place at wrestlemania 34. let me know your thoughts was this the right call should wwe have made this decision should they have changed the name let us know comment here on youtube where we're not disabled done it before though uh here on youtube to share your thoughts and perhaps we'll read some of those on an upcoming episode Moving on to tonight's perspective piece, and uh, yesterday I told you we'd be talking about the SmackDown side of things for WrestleMania, a match that is yet unknown, but became a little bit more clear this past Tuesday night when Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens brutally attacked Shane McMahon, the commissioner, I think he is, yes, the commissioner of SmackDown, and uh, that after Shane had announced that it would be a singles match between the two, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania, that match, of course, now not taking place. Well, it doesn't appear that way anyways. We don't know what match will be taking place, but we do know this. Shane McMahon has a spot at WrestleMania as he has for the last two years. He will perform at a great level in that spot. And all of us, including me and you, want to see him perform at WrestleMania. I think there's one person who doesn't, David Hero. And by the way, speaking of David Hero, in case you had not heard, uh, David Hero did recently uh, undergo some surgery to uh, to uh, address some issues in his feet and uh, David will be back in the saddle literally with us at Wrestlemania so uh, that's why we've had absence of prime time for the last few weeks here uh, and uh, him tending to his health which is more important than anything having to do with professional wrestling so we do wish well to David who is doing well and uh, we'll be back uh, on our schedule our regular schedule here soon on the pro wrestling report but Back to the SmackDown side of things, the main event, the main event or the event, the match that will be involving the commissioner, Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. There were rumors that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were slated for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. That apparently not the case as clearly they're going to be in a marquee matchup involving Shane McMahon. Now, will this be a handicap match? Will Shane take on both? Will there be a special gimmick to the match? Will it be Nolds Bard or will it be what I said some months ago? That is that Shane McMahon will have a partner at WrestleMania and it will be a tag team match. In fact, David Hero first said this, by the way, it will be a tag team match. Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus Shane McMahon, the commissioner of SmackDown and the general manager of SmackDown, Daniel Bryan. 
Picture it, folks. Sicily. WrestleMania is always shaping up to be a good card, as we talked about yesterday. This would make it that much better. Remember, it was in the Superdome at WrestleMania 30 that Daniel Bryan won the WWE Championship. He's got history in that building. He's got history in New Orleans. And why not try to revisit that history in one more match? Perhaps one last match. Perhaps the Shawn Michaels one more match from 2002, which took him on a five-year return, I think. He is in store for Daniel Bryan. We'll see what happens, but I think that is the only way this goes. I don't know who else would be Shane's partner in the matchup. Perhaps I'm, I'm missing some type of glaring omission, but if you look at the story that has developed over the last few months between the, these four individuals, Daniel Bryan, Shane McMahon, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn, it makes a lot of sense, right? That it's those two, Shane and uh, Daniel, teaming up against Owens and Zayn. And if so, I love the way we've gotten there. I love the slow build. We talked yesterday about the build that I'm anticipating between John Cena and The Undertaker. Also, what we've seen so far and we'll continue to see from Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Uh, all good stuff. And I think this story will be a good one as well to continue. Somebody's got a short shelf life on SmackDown, whether it be Shane McMahon or Daniel Bryan. Shane McMahon's been back for over two years now. Daniel Bryan's been retired for just under two years now, I think it is. And I'm not sure that the two of them want to be doing this SmackDown gimmick for the rest of their lives. So perhaps there's a step added to this matchup that makes it a bit more uh, monumental. But I think we will get what we want and see Daniel Bryan get that final match in WWE at WrestleMania 34, four years after winning the championship in that same building in the Superdome in New Orleans. Speaking of New Orleans, as we've told you, the big old party known as Shenanigans is on its way back to WrestleMania weekend, and this time it's on Bourbon Street, on a balcony, ah, way up high above Bourbon Street. VIP tickets are almost sold out, folks, so don't miss out right now. PWRshow.com for tickets to Shenanigans on Bourbon Street, hosted by SoCal Val, featuring Kevin Nash, Billy Gunn, Al Snow, Terry Runnels. So many people will be there. Shane Helms, Mr. Anderson, uh, names so far to list. You can see them all on pwrshow.com right now. Live musical performance. I literally ordered 10,000 beads today. 10,000 beads today because we all gonna have a pate in New Orleans as only shenanigans can deliver. Again, all the information now available at pwrshow.com. I wanna thank all of you for joining us here for PWR tonight. and look forward to hearing your comments on tonight's episode. And we also look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a great day.